Hey there YouTube, Corn Cobb Piper coming at you. It is uh, Monday afternoon. Hope everybody's having a great start to their week. Today's video is going to be a VR for Sasquatch Piper 2's uh, 100 sub giveaway. Jesse, as always, I'm going to go ahead and post the link down below to his channel. Make sure if you haven't already done so, head on over to his channel, check his videos out, make sure to hit that sub button for him. And for those of you who might not know, um, Jesse Sasquatch Piper 2 had a channel called Sasquatch Piper. And from my understanding, his Google account was hacked. He had to close down his channel and restart. And I believe he's up to uh, close to 200 subs now. But before he had to get rid of his channel, He was like at around 400 or so subs, so he's still missing, you know, 200 something subs out there, uh, guys. If, if the off chance that you're watching this and you didn't know that his, you know, he's got a new channel, make sure uh, that you head on over there and uh, give him that that sub back. Smoking my uh, Morgan nose warmer. Inside of it, I have packed up some Cornell and Dale Haunted Bookshop. Which is Sasquatch Piper's 2's favorite combination. Uh, loves his corncob pipes. Also loves smoking Haunted Bookshop. So I am smoking that as an homage to you, Jesse. So for Sasquatch Piper 2's uh, VR... He had asked us to share a uh, pipe story with us, uh, something about pipe smoking from our past. You know, something maybe about a grandfather or an uncle that smoked a pipe that you remembered from when I was a little kid. Or just any kind of pipe smoking uh, story from the past. So what I decided to do is share a little bit about my pipe smoking journey. And... Um, I guess my, my pipe smoking past. So, I'd wanted to smoke a pipe since I was a little kid uh, due to the old man that lived across the street, Mr. McCoy, who smoked a pipe. Always uh, thinking how cool it was watching him smoke a pipe and I really, really enjoyed the smell of it as well. So fast forward to the future, I ended up uh, dipping tobacco and then became a smoker. Uh, and then from cigarette smoke went to vaping, and then vaping to smoking a pipe. I tried smoking a pipe in my early 20s, but was not successful at it at all. And when I decided to uh, pick up pipe smoking a couple years ago, I really wasn't sure how to go about doing it, so I went out and I bought a Cobb, a Grabo, and a few tobaccos just uh, like uh, pharmacy stuff. Captain Black, half and half, stuff like that. But I wasn't really sure how to go about the actual pipe smoking process. So, logged on to YouTube, typed in how to smoke a pipe, and came across a couple guys, um, in particular, uh, Mutton Chop Piper, and uh, Stogie Farts, who both had um, basically pipe smoking videos for uh, a new person. So basically teaching you a series of videos, teaching you how to smoke a pipe. And I watched a bunch of their videos, um, and basically those two guys taught me how to smoke a pipe. But I was a complete lurker. I just watched their videos to learn how to do it. Didn't comment, didn't like, um, you know, nothing like that. So fast forward uh, now a year into the future. I'm a year into pipe smoking. And I discovered the, uh, the pipe smoking uh, community. The YTPC. And give me just one moment because I have to go check my phone and I'll be Guys, that was a text from my kids' schools. We've had some pretty bad flooding down here in South Florida. 
uh, due to the storm surges from the hurricane that's hit in Texas. So just an update that schools are back in session tomorrow. So back to my story. So a uh, year into my pipe smoking journey, I discovered the YTPC. Started lurking on people's videos, just checking some different stuff out. Um, and um, decided I watched a video by Briar Hokey who had mentioned that, you know, he was relatively new to the YTPC at that time. I think he had been around maybe three or four months, something like that. He was doing his 200 sub giveaway, I believe. Um, and uh, he had mentioned that uh, Unicorn Piper Ben had, er, you know, nudged him to uh, do, you know, start making videos and the best way to do that would be to do a VR to somebody. So I figured I was going to take the plunge in my first video that I ever put up, which I believe was maybe February of this year, uh, was a VR to uh, Briar Hokey's giveaway. And at that point, I started getting more and more involved with the uh, YTPC and that first year of me smoking pipe it was kind of a kind of a lonely journal journey um, I didn't have any friends or family members that were pipe smokers nobody to really just sit and uh, smoke a pipe with talk about pipes talk about tobaccos I didn't have that kind of uh, um, Interaction, and I definitely knew that it was it was you know journey, lacking in my journey. So through the YTPC, through making videos and inter interacting with people, commenting on their videos, private messages, emails, I have made uh, you know a tremendous amount of new friends uh, that share you know pipe smoking in common with me. So it's just great to be part of this community and, uh, you know, not to feel uh, so alone. So really the pipe smoking story that I want to share is, uh, you know, my first time smoking, uh, you know, pipes with, with a friend. Now, albeit it was virtually because I was watching the video and there are some very, very, uh, you know, great storytellers out there on YouTube that will just sit, light up a pipe, and tell uh, great stories. I'm sure those of you that are part of the YTPC, you know who who those guys out there that I'm talking about. Uh, Jesse Sasquatch Piper 2 is one of them. Uh, on his old channel, he was always going out into uh, the woods that was just uh, outside of his house there and uh, smoking a pipe and just telling some great stories and you know the few other guys out there too that did the same thing uh, after a long day at work or a uh, you know a weekend morning uh, there's nothing really that I look forward to more than sitting uh, sitting back packing up a pipe putting on YouTube uh, and listening to one of those storytellers out there and sharing a pipe with them If you've never done so, I definitely would encourage you to give it a try. Even though you can't interact back by speaking, you can interact with that person by commenting on their videos. Uh, from there, it could lead to PMs and emails, talking on the phone and just making new friends. But that's my favorite uh, pipe smoking memory is actually meeting people in the pipe smoking community and being able to, uh, you know, listen to their great stories and enjoy a nice pipe with them. And I'm doing this several times a week and I will continue to do so uh, for all of my days. So, Jesse, I want to say to you uh, personally, congratulations on the sub, man. Subs, hope you get all those uh, subscriptions back that you lost. Uh, when your account got hacked, that really sucks that happened to you. Um, I believe that, you know, his old channel is gone now, so you can't watch any of those videos. Hopefully you could find a way to transfer them over to your new channel, possibly. 
not really sure how that's going to work. Uh, but you got a great channel, man. Keep keep making the great videos and telling those awesome stories. I always definitely look forward to uh, hearing them. So with that, as always, YouTube, keep on piping.